All right, I'm Bill Powers. I'm here in Johnson City, Tennessee, and I'm with one of America's leading urban miners. That's me saying that about him, not him saying it about himself. Ben Davis, talk about how you get these diesel catalytic converters. For what Regenex does, that's the ore that they utilize, but you take the ore, you bring the ore in, and you prep it to give to the refining operation that Regenex does. Uh, talk a little bit about that process, please. Yeah, I guess as an, as an, as an urban miner, we have the relationships to uh, secure the material. We bring it into our shredding facility where we can process uh, over a ton an hour uh, through the shredding sampling process. Uh, since you were here 18 months ago, uh, we've added a uh, sampling facility at our other locations for ICP, uh, XRF, and uh, as you'll see, on the, they'll see on the video, we've made a lot of improvement. Okay. Yeah, so now that we're, Regenix is up and running, we're, we're ready to start supplying. Uh, we're fully capable now and operational to supply all the needs and tonnage that they can uh, accept. So the process of taking the diesel catalytic converter to the powder, could you just briefly talk about that uh, process? Yeah, so it comes in in two forms. Sometimes it comes in the, in the full in the full catalytic converter. Sometimes it comes in a substrate. Uh, either way, with the, the sampling facility that, and the grinding facility that we have here, uh, we can prep it for the right, uh, what we call mesh size, for what Regenex needs for their process. So then after you put it in the powder form, it gets shipped to Regenex, and then Regenex does what they do. Yeah, yeah from there, it's, it's on their hands. This is a good example of the material we received from Ben at Davis Recycle. It's prepared and milled on his facility, at his facility, and he drops it back off to us in the super sack bags. And then we load it into the system from these super sacks with the forklift. And that's where that all starts, that process. All right, Bill, let's take you through the first steps of our Regenix Module 1 first plant. So what we have over here is we have our basic chemistry that we're going to be adding to what we call the reactors here. And we're going to start doing some washing with our material. And you're going to start to see that as the video is going. Um, so the first, first area here is our reactors to note. This is where we, uh, we have our glass line reactors. We wash the material. The, the concentrate that we get from Davis Recycle delivered to us. We wash all that, what it looks like kitty litter, in these tanks. And that's where the leaching and reaction happens. We have a chemical A and a chemical B that at certain times, certain temperatures get added, and that's what leaches the material. So this is our reactor one, and reactor two. That's what we have in the theater here right now. We add the actual material in super sacks is what you can see right here that we get from Davis. It's already pre-ground and prepared for our, uh, our washing in the system. It is added right here. It goes in the reactors and for a period of time it stays in there. That's our first main step there. Second step is where we move our leaching material or leached material into our centrifuge. Well, we have a, a liquid and solid separation happening in the system. Out of the bottom over a period of time, the tailings will get released. Now that's inert material, the tailings, it's a waste product that we're actually going to have Davis now um, take back to their facility and it's going to go into a net zero cleanup product. So that's, uh, that's exciting. So we'll actually have no more tailings, no more waste to, to deal with from that part of the process. And the, the liquids are going to go in on another line over here and it's going to be our pregnant leach solution. That's where we're going to have our PGMs in solution. That's where it comes out over here. Solids out the bottom, liquids go over here into our PLS tanks. Then we go into what we call the metal capturing uh, area. That tank over there will separate the, the PGMs out of solution. It captures the metal and precipitates. 
over here is where we gather our, our black powder, our precious metal PGMs. That they're in filter socks, and it comes out black powder, ready to go into the next process in the refining area. And that's the saleable product. Right here is where we test. We've got three areas that we test right now. First area is we're getting 95 to 98 percent platinum palladium. That was our first area over there. Second area in the Merrill Crow process, we call it Merrill Crow, we're getting a 99% recovery. And the third part of recovery is 94, 98 platinum palladium. That's what we're getting right now. Very happy about that. That's really high recovery. Our pilot plant, we, we surpassed all the recoveries in our pilot plant. So we're very happy about that. And the filter socks, I'll show you that real quickly here. That's your filter socks right here. We pull those out. This is the recovered platinum platinum. This is what's going to make Regenix very profitable. Our end product, black powder. This is real money. Yeah, Regenix now is at that point of commercialization. And we turn this thing on to get it up to two and a half tons per day. It's really going to make all the difference now. Obviously, the market's going to recognize it. Industry recognizes it. We believe in it. We're excited about it. And we'll be able to work on module two, three, and four to get to that 10 tons per day plan. And obviously with the 30,000 square feet in this building available, we could do more than four modules, but their goal is to have 10 tons per day, which is four modules. Uh, Blue Sky, really what you know, I want to talk about a little bit is the carbon credits, you know, the opportunity there for industry, because we're such a low footprint, uh, we'll, be, uh, we'll be able to take advantage of that. We're going to go after that, you know, very hard now that we're going to be producing revenue and have product to show there is opportunity internationally for our business and for our technology, which could be a licensing technology opportunity. It could be uh, royalty. I mean, we'll look at that, but right now the whole focus has been getting commercial, getting into revenue and making this, uh, this company move forward as an actual operating company. Uh, we're hiring more and more people all the time. We've got excellent team right now that has built this and come together. Our trades have been excellent and exceptional, our general contractor to put us all together. The Greenville partnership has been fantastic. Our local area representative and our mayor have been hugely supportive of our company. And we're just really excited about being able to prove ourselves now and, and start to move this thing forward.